All right. So I started off by asking what this little tool does. So you can see a needle on there and I use it to intonate my piano. So I also have this tool. This is just a piece of wood with sandpaper on there and it's very fine sandpaper. So basically, in order to understand what I've been doing, you must first learn a little bit about how the piano works. So the basic mechanism is you press the key and the hammer goes against strings. But what happens is if you play long enough and often enough, then the strings get engraved into the hammers. And this alters the sound, so after a while you need to compensate for this. So that's why I use this little thing to, to rub it with the sandpaper. And so you need to make it into a pear shape again. And you only need like two millimeters of hammer to touch the key. So it's a really delicate thing. You need to take your time. So it's really, for me, it's kind of like a meditation as well. So I like to do it. Um, but after that, if you've uh, rubbed it enough, then the sandpaper has made the hammers really, really hard. So then the sound is also really hard. So then the sound in terms of character and tone, then, it, then you've made that all right again. But in terms of volume, it's really too hard and maybe some hammers you've used more, so you have to rub a little more. And then the sound has also become more hard as well. So what you do is you use this little needle and you go right under the surface of the felt of the hammer. And what this does is that it opens more space underneath the layers of felt. So that's what makes the hammer itself a bit softer. And in this way you can have a nice sound again, but also a nice evenly balanced volume across all of the piano. So that's how you can yourself uh, maintain your piano and keep a nice sound. So that's it for today. Thank you.